Hello and welcome to Daily Dead Video. In this video, we will see how to create and set custom ringtones on your iPhone with the help of your Mac computer that is running macOS 10.15 Catalina or above versions. Since the release of Catalina, things have changed. You know, the way we transfer files from our Mac computer to iPhone or iPad have changed a lot. We do have a separate video tutorial that will help you to understand like after the death of iTunes, how you can manually transfer the contents, especially the music movies collection that you have on your computer or backup storage to the iPhone and iPads. Do check that in the link of this video. Also, I'll provide the link to that video tutorial in the when you click on the I symbol at the top right corner of this video. All right. And there are two methods of Available to successfully create and set ringtones on your iPhone. Number one is the method that we are going to see right now. Number two is the one that you can do it within your iPhone itself, which is with the help of an Apple developed application called GarageBand. You can simply create the ringtone within your GarageBand application and you can configure them uh, to your iPhone. Simply you can push that to the settings, sounds and haptics and the ringtone section without the need for connecting your iPhone to the computer. This method involves connectivity to the computer, but it will help you to manually make a backup cop copy of the ringtones that you will be creating with your iPhone or within your computer. So that's why I personally prefer if anything goes wrong with my iPhone, I will still have the backup copy of the data so that I can push it back to the iPhone if you know if it goes to the service or if I buy a new iPhone. So that is one important reason that I personally prefer this method and there are I believe there are so many people like me uh, who wants to manually do this thing and manually have a backup copy of the ringtones they create. In your iPhone, go to App Store and download the ringtones application. I'll also provide this app link in the description of this video and simply download and install it. And when you open it, you will see the complete list of songs that you have a backup copy uh, that you have manually transferred uh, in your iPhone is available for you to select and create the ringtone. Simply select, you know, uh, the 30 seconds time frame. This is a free app. You don't need to pay for it. Simply select the 30 seconds time frame and uh, click on the top right corner tick arrow uh, in order to successfully uh, you know create the ringtone and store it within the ringtones app itself in the second step we will see how to transfer that back to your iPhone's settings sounds and haptics ringtone section first let's create some uh, ringtones that will be very useful for us to you know have a maintain a collection uh, within our iPhone so select any uh, 30 seconds time frame after you know doing a playback we can slightly adjust to it with the easy to left and right arrows available at the mid of the application that's it. You can simply tap on the tick mark and your ringtones will be created. Once this process is done, all you have to do is simply go to your finder application on your Mac computer and the left side you will see the location tab your device will be there as you have connected it with the help of lightning cable and the device summary page is there that shows all the data about your iPhone and on the right side top right corner you will see the files tab under the ringtones application the list of applications that have the file manager uh, type of access and you can transfer any type of files from your Mac computer to this iPhone or iPad uh, with this uh, files tab so simply uh, select the list of files that you want to transfer it to your computer as you can see the ringtone file format is .m4r and the ringtones application have created everything readily available for you unfortunately this particular version is not allowing me to select uh, multiple files at once so i here i have to do the file transfers manually and i'm doing a little bit uh, you know fast forwarding with this entire process as you can see if you have created more files then it'll take a little bit more time and carefully select all the ringtone files that you have created uh, within the ringtones application to a separate folder uh, in your Mac computer by opening a separate finder window. So as you can see, I have successfully transferred, you know, all the ringtones that I've created with the help of ringtones application and simply open that finder window, select all the ringtone files and uh, all you have to do is drag and drop all those files on your uh, summary page. That's it. The progress, you know, that is important thing. And as in the left side, you can see the progress is showing that the files are being copied and it's done successfully. So all these files are successfully copied to my iPhone. And of course, we are going to verify whether these files have been copied or not. As you can see, the music app doesn't have the ringtones tab even after transferring all those files. So this is literally, you know, useless application uh, when it comes to ringtones right now. So previously in iTunes, you were 
able to see the so there is a separate ringtone tab after you have moved any uh, m4 r files manually but right now the finder app is the only hope for us so in your iphone go to the settings uh, application and then go to the sounds and haptics and then select ringtones and there you will be seeing all the ringtones that you have created using the ringtones application and uh, you have dragged and drop with the help of the finder window is available right there and below that you will be seeing the list of stock ringtones that comes with the ios uh, within the iphone you can simply delete any uh, ringtones that you want to uh, you don't want uh, you know by simply swiping from right to left this is the only way to uh, manage all these custom ringtones at present if you have you know copied this with this tutorial method and if you have used garage band then you have to delete the drink tones only through garage band so remember that and if the delete button is not working when you try to uh, swipe from right to left don't forget to share it with your friends and family members at twitter and facebook if you find it useful and if you have any questions or any trouble in going through the process step by step this is just three step process so if you have any trouble in that do uh, leave a comment below ask your question I, in my free time i'll definitely uh, assist you with the answers thanks for watching have a wonderful day.